Hello Pisces and welcome to Truth Not Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, this won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We're looking at the 17th to the 23rd of April, 2023. We have number 28, Snake. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. Snake is actually a transformative energy. It can be about shedding an old skin. Embracing transformation when the snake energy appears. But you're being told be careful. What do we have for Pisces, please? Message for Pisces. Yeah, we have patience. Archangel Jophiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need, need nurturing and patience. Let's pull some cards, see what we have for you for the week. Message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Pisces for the week. What do we have for Pisces for the week? We have the Three of Pentacles, Four of Swords, oh, I've got two cards there, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, Nine of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and we have the Star. Let's um, clarify the Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, thank you. We have the Eight of Wands. Thank you, okay, thank you. The Nine of Pentacles. It looks like there's some kind of uh, this feels like it looks like some kind of uh, collaboration going on here this week. Three of Pentacles can be a collaborative energy, very good in terms of money. Um, but it, it's, a, it's an energy of coming together. I mean, it can link with new teams as well. Um, maybe new joining some kind of new, new collaborative project or getting a new project off the ground. But the Three of Pentacles is, is really that sense of the beginnings of success, you know, um, whether this will be rebuilding a relationship or whether it would be you know a chance to kind of like get that firm foundation back in terms of money career finances it feels like there is some kind of collaborative cal collaboration and conversation happening here this can either be joining a new team some kind of compromise or negotiation going on here pisces in money And again, if it was relationships, 
it would be re- potentially can we make it work can we re- can we rebuild this can we build back up that kind of energy too again that sense of carefully shedding an old skin whatever's gone's gone could be that sense of healing and i feel this is either healing in terms of money career finances or relationships could even be both the eight of wands conversation communication positive forward movement positive shifts the nine of pentacles very good money card, the Nine of Pentacles, some kind of collaboration or, like I said, compromise or negotiation going on. But it feels here, Pisces, you're going to be very satisfied with the outcome if it's some kind of negotiation because Nine of Pentacles is you're standing in your own success, what you've worked towards. You're you're now reaping the fruits of your labor, you know. So this is the result of your hard work. Certainly in money terms, this is material success, abundance, being very satisfied and fulfilled, even with what you're being paid, what you're worth, the money that you're getting, that kind of energy, the package. That would be the energy here. This is somebody who is is thriving. Similarly, if this was a relationship, it would be rebuilding. And again, the Nine of Pentacles can be that sense of but you, I'll, I'll, I'll treat you with, you know, in a way that you deserve. For example, if somebody was reluctant to, um, if you weren't weren't sure whether something could be rebuilding, rebuilt, it might well be that there is some conversation happening this week, where someone's saying, "Well, can we just try? Can we give it a go? Can we see if we can like, collaborate and build back up?" I'll treat you as you deserve, that kind of energy. Because again, the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, taking a step back, you know, uh, what you've been putting time and energy towards, potentially money careers, this could be about waiting, waiting for the next step to unfold. For those of you thinking about how the next step unfolds here in relationships, the Nine of Wands, you've been tested, you're tested. And you might be wondering, you know, you know, do I continue putting time and energy into this relationship or do I move in a new direction? And again, for others of you, if it's to do with work, it can be about you've already put time and energy and persevered on a path and you're tired. But this is, this is, you're near the end of the situation here. Change is closer than you think. The Six of Swords is about healing. Now, again, relationship-wise, some kind of offer of commitment, promise, um, even committed offer, even buying or relocating or moving home to start over again with relationships potentially as well. But this can also be very good here, Pisces, where you're getting some kind of offer. Someone is making you an offer here. And again, if it's not relationships, these are very good money cards. The Six of Swords means the worst is behind you and you're moving to better times. You're getting some kind of new abundant offer. New job, new business opportunity, new contract, sum of money. The Six of Swords is can be moving from what was to what will be, but you're moving away from the source of the issue or problem. It's the card of healing. So again, healing in terms of relationships, but also can be about recovery, uh, moving from what was to better times in terms of money, career, finances, especially if you have been healing as well. I mean, the cards can also indicate that if you've been through a period of ill health, you or another person that affected your money, career, finances, then there's a feeling of that might that period might also be over and you might be going back to employment. So these can resonate for that that kind of thread too. But the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands, this is that sense of new reasons to celebrate emotional renewal, emotional rebirth, a new beginning opening up for you. So again, the new sense of happiness because you're getting an offer that brings that sense of security and stability back in terms of uh, your home, your family, your relationship. This can also be, you know, an emotional renewal and rebirth of a relationship here, moving from choppy waters and renewing a relationship in some kind, in some way, you know, and moving forward on that basis. So again, the four of wands can be family, can also be very good in terms of relationships. The star is just that sense of 
you're opening up to that sense of new beginning, emotional rebirth, because you've had faith. You know, this is that sense of you've had faith and there's a strong sense of, you know, embracing a new sense of blessing, a new sense of optimism, a new sense of renewal, daring to dream with the star energy that how you're moving forward is going to lead to everything that you want in life. You know, whether it's to do with money, career, finances, or love, romance, relationships, it's a great card of blessings and wish fulfillment, you know, that this feels like you're, you're moving in a direction where there's blessings, blessings, greater blessings ahead. So again, very good in terms of healing in the home, the family, the relationship, um, maybe that transition of overcoming health issues and getting back into work as well but for others of you again even recovery in terms of finances too where again you're standing in your own abundance your own security and success there could be some kind of compromise or negotiation here and it might well be that sense of being careful in that respect would be you know make sure you get your, yourself a good deal. I mean, don't shoot yourself in the foot clearly, but this can be about just really intuitively think about how to approach if there is some kind of offer coming in. It feels like it's leading to that sense of emotional rebirth and renewal. Okay, final message for Pisces, thank you. Yeah, we have Believe in Magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The Fairy of Northern Light says you are part of nature, so you are magical too. Magic is all about transformation, you know. Uh, there's a strong transformative energy through this reading, and that's what the snake energy is. It's deeply transformative. It's about shedding an old skin, shedding from what was and embracing that sense of renewal and the new. That's what I'm seeing here. But there's some kind of, uh, I feel, compromise, negotiation, collaboration. That's happening this week here, Pisces. But it feels like it brings positive forward movement and change. Either you com conversing with another person in how you move forward or can be in terms of business, you know, communication, conversations happening, maybe even backwards and forwards, but they're very progressive to lead towards an end result. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.